Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim and today I want to talk to you about some troubleshooting tips. Specifically, I want to go over with you how to wire up your Tetrix Max RC motor controller with the wireless receiver. So we're going to go ahead and do that. First, I've got everything together uh, that I'm going to need to do this. I've got my Tetrix Max RC motor controller. I have my gamepad and my wireless receiver. I have my uh, wiring harness <clears throat> that I need with my switch. I have a battery supply here and just to test everything I have my uh, DC motor and a power lead for that. So I'm going to go ahead and start <clears throat> by just basically telling you that when you hook this up and this is where there's been some confusion on the wireless receiver there is a spot specifically for a battery but when you use this particular setup the Max RC motor controller with the 12 volt battery, you do not need an extra battery source with this. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and cover for everybody so we, we understand how that works. So I'm going to start with my wiring harness and make sure that I wire that up correctly. It is going to be very important that when you look on the motor controller at the, in the center on the bottom of this bus, I'm going to hold this so that you can see it, there is a plus and a minus uh, for the B. And you want to make sure that you get the black and the red in the right spots. The black wire goes to the B minus. The red wire will go to the B plus. So I'm going to do that right now. So on my wiring harness, I have a black wire. That's the negative side. I'm going to go ahead and put that into the B minus terminal. Take my two-in-one screwdriver. And I am going to tighten that down just like that. You don't want to get real rambunctious with it, but you don't want to make sure that that's firmly seated and tightened down. Then I'm going to take my other red lead, uh, positive, and I'm going to put that in the B plus side of my bus. I'm going to tighten that down just like this. I'm going to hold that up so you can see exactly what we've got. Black, B minus, red, in the B plus, just like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wire in my switch. And I've got just two spades. So one side will go just like that. The other side to the other spade. And I've got basically, you can see there, a little bit of a triangle. Switch, interrupting the positive side. This is where my battery is going to connect. Once I have that, I'm going to go ahead connect my battery so that I have power just like that and when I turn my switch on power this on I should see a green power indicator on my max RC motor controller that'll know that we've got power now that we have that uh, the power connection wired in I'm going to go ahead and wire up my motor so that we can test this in a minute so I'm going to take my motor lead and I'm going to uh, connect it to one of the motor sides. It doesn't matter which one for our test, but we're going to put it on um, this left side. And let's put this right in here just like this. And tighten those connections down. Just like that, I'm going to connect my motor. So now you see I have um, my wiring harness. I've got my battery connected to my motor controller and I have a motor hooked up. Last thing I need to do is put in my wireless receiver. So again, this is my wireless receiver. And normally, if we were not gonna use this setup, we could wire a battery directly into the top slot here, but we don't need to do that. All we need, because we're going to use the power coming from this battery. So I'm going to take my two leads. I've got two leads coming from my motor controller. They are marked with tabs. One of them is marked forward, channel one. The other one is marked channel two and turn. Now, you could hook both of these up and they would control both motors in either channel in the mixing mode. There's mode buttons on the motor controller. 
And you can find more about those mode buttons if you look at the instructions that come with um, the motor controller that tell you exactly what all the mode switches are and how they work them. Default out of the box, it will work where both of these leads will mix the motors so that on either channel, you can control either two of the motors. Uh, for us in this purpose, it really doesn't matter as long as we're, because we're concerned about wiring up the wireless receiver. So I'm gonna start with uh, forward channel one, and I'm gonna put it into one of the channels on my wireless receiver, channels one through four. I like, um, for the vertical sticks, I'm a, you have two and three, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in channel two. The brown wire is considered the negative of the ground, so I'm gonna put it into the receiver just like that. You can see, got the brown on this side, orange to the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the turn the same way in the channel three. So I have those plugged in just like that. Now, when I power on my switch with my battery, two things I should see. I should see a green power indicator on my motor controller. And I also should see a flashing red light on my wireless receiver. This is telling me that I've got power coming from the battery through the motor controller and it's, it's powering on the receiver. Now, when I turn on my gamepad and it pairs with my receiver, now I have a solid red light here showing that I've got everything connected. And when I test that with my motor, with my gamepad, I should be getting power. Even though I don't have a battery connected directly to this, everything is coming through the uh, Tetrix Max RC motor controller. So that's a simple way to do that. And it doesn't matter where you mount it on the robot. As long as you have this configuration, it should go ahead and work. And I'll show you what that looks like on a robot that's actually built. That one right here, this is a robot. So if I have my uh, Tetrix Max RC motor controller hooked up right, I have everything wired just like I showed you before. If I power that on and I get the game pad for this, turn it on, I've made my pairing. And now when I move my stick, I should have power to my motors. So, I hope you found that helpful information uh, that allows you to go ahead and wire up your robots and make those work with the RC motor controllers. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots, come back and see us.